The ID Tech X show right here with Bright Vault. And who are you? James Pope, Vice President of Power Solutions. So what are we looking at here? This is a, a flexible battery? A thin, flexible, ultra-thin film battery. So uses would be things like powered cards, medical patches, sensors, smart labels, uh, areas where very thin, very flexible cells are required. Uh, something that you can get a nice radius and good bend on the cell. So, so this could be in a smart, uh, like some kind of smartwatch, maybe. Could be in a smartwatch. Could be in a number of different applications where the, the conventional cells, like the the coin cells and things like that, just don't have a play. But you can put very small, thin cells that require flexibility. You can put them in watch bands, as an example, something like this, where you could actually bend it around a, a watch band, take the battery out of the main, you know, out, out of the watch itself, shrink down the thickness. Uh, medical patches as an example where the patch might have to go on an arm where there has to be a little bit of flexibility around the cell but still delivers good power good reliability very safe uh, safe a lot of neat applications how about yes. enclosed you know it's interesting i've had several people contact me doing textiles that are looking to possibly build these batteries into clothing um, some of the larger names you might hear that are putting them into the backs of say jackets uh, gloves places where they still need to, they need power but today the batteries are just too thick yeah and, uh, you have very small ones like this also yes we can do custom sizes so besides the, the more conventional sizes we make we also make some very thin we can also make some very thin sizes uh, very small cells with a little bit lower capacity but still you know very rough very robust still flexible so we can do a lot of custom sizes and besides being able to do the primary non-rechargeable product we also have uh, rechargeable cells that we're beginning to work on as well. So we will also be able to handle the, uh, the secondary rechargeable cells besides the primary non-rechargeable cells. So right now it's non-rechargeable? Not rechargeable at this time, but that is in our lab. Our chief scientist and his group is work are working on that today. And so very shortly we will have rechargeable batteries as well. And we can do custom form factors on the rechargeable sizes also. Custom what? Custom form factors. So besides the form factors you see here, someone might come to us and say, can you make something a little larger, a uh, little, little thicker? We can do custom sizes in both chemistries. So it's a polymer matrix electrolyte technology? Yes, yes. What is, how does that work compared to lithium ion? The, palm, the, the polymer matrix electrode is our own proprietary way of building a cell. So uh, we have patents on this technology today. So the way it's layered, uh, is again proprietary, so it's a much safer way to build a battery. Uh, two components instead of three. So, it, 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 uh, for example, for like especially for like medical patches, uh, where the FDA, as an example, is is very interested in very safe product, something that's up against the human skin and like a class two device. They want something that they know is not going to have any problems at all. You can tear this battery. You can uh, put a yeah, needle nails through, through it. it. You know what? I don't know if you can see this, but check this out. I just want to show this to you really quick. But as an example. In the lab, you have situations where we're testing, here's a situation where we're testing the open circuit voltage at three volts per cell. Normally, hitting a battery with a hammer, bad idea. Yeah. But after testing the battery, still back up to three volts per cell. And just for fun, really quick, he's gonna go back at it again. Beating the battery several times, but that battery is still going to function like it did originally because of the way it's designed, it is much more robust and much safer than what you would find in any conventional cell. That's awesome. So how about when it's rechargeable, how many recharge can it do? The goal will be to be to the three to 500 cycles, just like you would find in your conventional rechargeable cells, but you will also still have the ability to flex the battery. So the flexibility is what most of our customers are looking for, besides just the ability to get the same voltage at 3637, the same types of capacities that they see today. What's the all capacity? The things, capacities can run all over the place, but we're going to be probably start with something in like the 50 milliamps up to six, seven, 800. But if someone came to us and said, I want a two amp hour battery, we could still manufacture that, give them the capacity they need in a safer battery, but still give them that level of flexibility they need for things like clothing. Because uh, I'm a big guy and I, I'm wearing a big jacket. Yes. And so on my back could be at least 2,000 milliam, right? You could be up right into the shoulders, small the back, you know, something that would come around a little bit. I was yeah. talking to a company earlier that was talking about building the battery into the clothing and then sealing it up so you could actually run it through the wash. You know, ways to encapsulate it so not only are you getting the power, but in places where you have to be able to wash it or it has to be water resistant, working with companies to develop technology to seal the battery so it's still functional. Now, 
it's not uh, waterproof. Uh, it is not waterproof, but it's not going to have a problem if it gets in water. That's, again, one of the unique characteristics of our PME. Again, as I mentioned before, you can actually tear one of these cells, drop it in water, and all you're going to get is a little fizzle. And generally speaking, with conventional lithium cells, you do not want those cells near water. And uh, so how long have you been doing this? And is it already out there? Uh, a number of years. We have about 15 million cells out there in the marketplace 15 today. 15 million? 15 million. We're shipping them into smart cards, smart labels, sensors, medical patches for pain management, uh, which is a neat area. I mean, when you look at uh, today where a lot of the, the pain management patches are drug, fentanyl type patches, something where you could slap a, a, a label on someone's arm and use the, use the actual waveform as opposed to getting them potentially hooked on drugs, which is no good for anybody. All right, so there's already 15 million and, uh, already 15 and the million. future is going to be much more. Much larger. I mean, I've had applications for people coming looking for smart labels now that number in a couple hundred million. So the applications for this are unlimited, but they're very, they can be some very large volumes. Uh, they could be some cool display like e-ink and then combine with your battery and then you have a better, much better uh, a smart card for the bus and the subway. Absolutely. Well, here's, yeah, here's an example. I mean, take a look at this. Here's, here's an example of a card. A bank, it's the same dimensions as a normal credit card. You press a button, there's your e-ink application where every time you press it, it gives you a, you know, for a two-factor identification. how much money you have on your bank account. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Two-factor ID, but here you can see what this looks like internally. There's our cell, the circuit. That would be the guts of this, basically. That's awesome. And yeah. this is the same size as a normal... It same, like and, it, and it has to be, so you could still with the card swipe, swipe it right through the machines that you would normally have, that you would normally use when you're purchasing items. So it fits right in there. So how many millions did you ship of this one so far? A number it's, of millions. It's a good, a good, good chunk of the, good chunk ah, of the it's 50. it's already out there. Yeah, most, it's, the, it's not full blown at this point. There's a lot of, uh, this is still coming on board, but we have several people where we've shipped several, several very large orders, correct, yes. And they have the displays and everything? They have the displays, yeah. So this is really cool, it's awesome. All right, cool. Thanks for right. making this kind of technology. We really need it. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you for your time.